Let It Snow, pretty song, typically, uh, the, I think the version folks listen to is the Dean Martin version, but this is all different kinds, and here's, a, here's one for solo guitar. Uh, this is in the key of C. So starting off with a nice uh, G13, got a strange shape, uh, all your fingers are, are uh, on. That's 13, shouldn't this sound pretty? So C, G7, C. E flat diminished, you can play with four fingers up here, uh, first and second finger on um, the first fret of D and B, uh, third and fourth fingers on the second fret of G and uh, E. And that's, um, that's an interesting chord because Those are all the same shape, right? And they're essentially the same chord too, just inversions of it. So that's down here is an E flat diminished, and that's what we're looking for. Again, so far, a G13, C, G7, C. C, E flat diminished to a G. D minor, now you can put that down here if you want, but I kind of like it up here, right? D minor, A7, because it's easy to get to the A7. D minor, D sharp diminished, which is essentially the same thing, but now we're playing that root, uh, that root from the uh, from the A string, back to a G, G7, C, and G13 to to resolve that first part. Right. So so far we have this. Second one exactly the same. C, G7, C. C, E flat diminished, G. D minor, A7, D minor, D sharp diminished, G7, C, and G. So uh, all together it sounds like so. Doesn't show signs of stopping. instrumental part which just repeats that again so now instead of a G we go to C6 which you can play just by four fingers oh, I'm sorry four uh, uh, four strings contiguous one two three and four right on the same fret, and that is, and that is the six. That is the six for your C right here. So, uh, changing to the B part now. G, A minor, D seven, and G. G, G, G. You now G sharp diminished. Sounds pretty, right? A seven. G, G7. So the whole B part goes. Huh? Now back to the A part again. C, G7, C. Now C. E flat diminished G G seven D minor A seven D minor B sharp diminished G seven G seven and C Let it snow Let it snow Let it Now for the last for the end I do this kind of descending thing so C C seven F F minor and then back to this C again 
and that would be to the C9, so a B, so a B9 to a C9, like so. But you could do whatever you want there. You have to come come up with some kind of an ending. So instead of just going, uh, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Now that's not bad. That's okay. That's a good, it's not bad, not a bad way to start. But 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 uh, having something else like you could uh, mix so songs together. You could go. end of your song. So let's see how that sounds. I don't know, this is just a sort of a test. Let it snow, let it snow, let it... Eh, maybe a little fancy, but you get the picture, you know. The idea about Christmas songs is they're not too hard to play and they're meant to have fun with. So I hope you have some fun with uh, Let It Snow. This is a Sammy Kahn, uh, Jill Stein tune from 1945. And um, it was written, the story goes, it was written in Hollywood, California during a heat wave as Con and Stein were imagining uh, what a nice, cool Christmas would be like. So, uh, anyhow, enjoy Let It Snow.